So I heard you're looking into buying a gaming PC. Well, there's a few things that I think you should consider before hitting that purchase button. So why don't you sit down, get comfy, and listen to me, motherfucker. <clears throat> Sorry. The topics that I'm going to be covering might be a little bit more general than some people may be looking for. But nevertheless, there's still things that I think you should consider. Are you doing more than just gaming? What is your price range? And the upgrade dilemma. Real quick, I just wanted to say I don't play on console, at least anymore. I have a gaming PC that I play on all the time. These are just some things that I thought about when I was buying my PC that I thought might be helpful for some people to justify their purchase or maybe shy away from something that they weren't too sure about. Topic number one, are you just gaming? Custom gaming PCs can become powerful machines with the right components, allowing you to play modern games at faster frame rates than you can ever imagine. But if you're wanting a PC only to play games, next-gen consoles are allowing newer games to come out and run at 120 frames per second, which is twice as fast as last-gen consoles and shit, even my own PC. You can even hook up a keyboard and mouse to your console if that's what you're looking for. I would say if you want to justify building a PC, consider if you're doing anything else besides gaming. Even if it's streaming, editing videos, music production, shit, even homework or work work. Anything besides gaming, it's going to make it a lot easier to spend that extra five, dollars $600 on a PC rather than a console. Topic number two. What's your price range? How much are you willing to spend on your PC? If you're wanting something that's going to run a little bit faster, a little bit smoother, whether it's with editing or gaming, you're going to be looking at around $1,200, maybe $1,500, and that's if you can find everything at MSRP. If you've looked into your PC at all before watching this video, then you probably understand that graphics cards are a bit expensive right now. A graphics card that used to cost $300 is selling for $800, and used ones are probably selling for four or $500. It's fucking stupid. I know I've been talking about buying a next-gen console, even though they're also selling for about $800, but if you're only gaming, it's kind of maybe a bit easier to justify buying a console for $800 rather than just one single component to your PC because once you spend that $800 on that graphics card, you still have to buy the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, the case, the power supply. You have to buy everything else besides that big $800 graphics card purchase. Granted, I know some people are wanting to get into the PC side of things specifically for the aesthetics or completely customizing their build for fun or maybe they're just the last friend in their friend group to transition to PC and they're just kind of wanting to finally make that step no matter what your reasoning is be prepared to at least spend a thousand dollars to get something that's going to run decent topic number three the upgrade dilemma now if you've made it this far you're probably thinking Mr. Goose None of that's going to stop me, and you can't stop me from subscribing to your channel. And you're right, I won't. But before you purchase anything yet, take heed of this warning. Gaming PCs, while completely customizable and versatile with what components can go in it, will torment you with that exact same aspect. You'll probably end up buying something for your PC that is good, but something will come out eventually to replace it that is cheaper, or faster, or just all around better, and it fucking sucks. I'm still rocking a 1060, and let me tell you, the graphics aren't that great on new games. And I've only had it for three years. Three fucking years! And I can't play new games with my custom PC that I spent twelve to $1,500 on. It's fucking ridiculous. I don't regret buying my PC. I just feel like it's a bit stupid that new games that come out end up looking like games that I used to play on my PS3 for no fucking reason because they just want to make everything way more textured and way more detailed and it just fucking fries your computer. And it's never going to stop. This is how the PC world is. They want to constantly build something newer, something better, something faster, something crazier. And if you're just wanting to play games... Buying a new graphics card 
is like buying a new console every few years just to play new games when you can just buy one console and play games until the next generation comes out. It's way easier. I love my PC, but that's because I make videos on it. I play games on it. I make music on it. I do my homework on it. I do so many things on my PC, so it's kind of it was an easy yes for me. But don't do it just to say you have a PC unless you have the money to do it because it's going to end up burning a hole in your wallet. So ultimately, are you willing to spend $1,200 or more on a gaming PC when you can spend about three to $500 on a console that can do the exact same thing and is the same price of a modern GPU? Or are you looking at more than just gaming and want a rig that's going to be able to help all of your computing needs? Well, that's not up for me to decide. But hopefully this video helped push you off the fence onto the greener grass. Comment down below if you have anything to add to this topic. And if this helped you at all, consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh.